Welcome back to Online Media. Today, let's go and walk through, through the complete registration process for setting up a WISE bank account in 2024. So first of all, you wanted to visit the WISE website. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally free. And you might have any huge words just by signing up with the link that I just sent you down below. So once you click into the link down below, you might be seeing something like this. It's going to be asking you to create a WISE account. So here, what you want to do is to first enter your email address and hit enter next. Now it's going to be asking you what kind of account would you like to open today. Now, if you are looking for a personal account to send, spend and receive around, you can choose this option. But maybe in the future, you would like to become a freelancer uh, to work international. So you don't have to worry about those elements because in the future, you can add another account later on. And of course, you might be having a personal account as well as a business account in the same email. So now it's really important to choose where do you live the most of the time. By law, you may need to ask for proof of the address where we're actually currently living. And that will be actually it. So in this case, I'm going to go for Mexico and go for County. Now, this is the part where you want to sign off for the account. Just follow the prompts for the basic information, such as the name, the email address, and the country of the residence. Here, it's going to be asking us for creating and adding an actual phone number code. Now, it's really important to create a passcode. Most contain a letter, a number, and a minimum of nine characters. If you want, you can just enable this so you can see how it actually looks your passcode. Lastly, the registration of the device should be done instantly. Now, what you wanted to do here is to follow the prompts to create your account. In this case, you wanted to tell about ourselves. So here is going to be really important to add a full legal first and middle name, your full legal last name, the date of birth, and the phone and number. In this case, we have already verified our phone number, so I'm going to just leave this as it is. I'm going to focus now into adding all these elements so I can continue. Now we wanted to provide a proof of home address, the city, and the postcode. It's really important, guys, to choose a home address city and postcode that you have directly, let's say, using a passport or using an identity government issued ID because you might be needing that document in the future when you want to verify your account and having more access and no restrictions into your account. And just like that, your account should be created in no time. Into your account, you might be needing to add details to complete your WISE account setup. So this might include verifying your identity by uploading a photo ID as I just told you and providing information about your resident status. So you can just do this directly here into the settings or finish the account setup. Lastly, what you can do here is to start by funding your account. So once your account has been set up, you'll need to fund this to start using the WISE services. You can add funds via bank transfer, a debit card, or other supported method. You can set exactly the amount of money that you have currently and the actual currency that you have, and you might be having paying with, and choose the payment method that best suits for you. And here, you wanted to add this directly inside, let's say, for example, as a British pound or whatever, and just go for continue. We can follow the prompts to connect an actual banking account or whatever element that you chose in order to complete your application. And there you have it. The last thing is to explore the WISE features. So you have successfully set up a WISE bank account so you can take some time to explore the WISE features such as the international money transfers, the multi-currency accounts, and so much more elements. We have a full tutorial how we can get started here into WISE, not only by having an account, but focusing into how we can make payments, how we can make receipts, how we can create and send it out for signing up for the actual global spending uh, cards on a debit card directly here into WISE. So uh, there you have it, guys. You have completed the registration process for the setting up of a wise banking account so thank you so much for watching if you find this tutorial helpful be sure to like it, subscribe and share it with the others so stay tuned for more valuable tutorials from the online media until next time